Hey guys, welcome back to FTB Skies episode 12. In today's episode, we're doing Botania. So I moved everything I have at the back of the spaceship. And I think that's a good place to do Botania, this side room. Now everything looks cooler with shaders. Yeah, definitely cooler. But we'll need to turn them off to see how mana flows. We're going with a flower that uses experience. Now I'm not sure why we cannot see the experience here. But it's full on experience, the ender tank. Plus, we have a jumbo tank full of experience. Now, first thing first, I need some mana steel ingots and a mana pearl. Now, mana steel ingots we have. We just need a pearl. Throw it inside. Nice. And then, yeah. And then, right click with the living rock. Right click with the living wand. That's how you make runes. <laughs> Guys, unfortunately, I've done a lot of recording, but a day's footage was lost because the mic wasn't working, I guess. Yeah. And yeah, I made a bunch of flowers which use energy to produce mana, and we basically progressed to Terra Steel. Alright, guys, next thing is to kill the Gaia spirit. We'll need four pylons, the Gaia pylons. Pixie dust, I think we have. I don't remember where we got them, but. We need some minor diamonds and some mana steel. One, two, three, four. Perfection. All right, let's see if we have enough. Come on. Nice. All right. Four pylons done. We need a beacon. That's easy as well. Oh my god. I'm so. so oh, wait, what? Oh, well, that's actually nice. Right guys, so I want to make the Gaia agglomeration plate. It allows us to make terrestrial ingots with half the amount that the terrestrial agglomeration plate takes. Even less. First, we need for shimmer rock. Now we need living rock and bifrost block, which is basically glass converted with the rods of the bifrost. Can we make that? I don't think we can. Yeah, we need some pixie dust. Let's get some pearls. Pearls. Let's actually make three stacks just so hard. So we, we've got them. All right, I think that's going to work. Better. Oh, come on. Noise. Very noise. Can we convert all the diamonds? We can. And mana still. Noise. All right, let's get a few. Should be fine. All right. And then we need to convert some glass into mana glass. And the mana glass into alf glass. And the half glass into bifrost block. All right, and how many do we need? Just four. Actually, let's do 32, it doesn't matter. Noise, that's mana glass. Or half glass. Very nice. And then we just use the rod of the bifrost to get bifrost blocks. And then combine it with a living rock to get a shimmer rock. Next thing we need is three terrestrial ingots. All right, let's see if this works better now. We should be able to make them quite easily, actually. Yeah, this seems to be working. Nice, that's one done. Amazing. I think that's all we need. Yeah, Terra Catalyst. All right, let's place it under a mana pool. All right, let's see. Nice. Guy shards. Now, we need a rune of mana. And then, we use the rune of mana and Ender Pearl and two mana diamonds to make a rune of teleportation. That's one of the runes we need. And the next one is the rune of energy. Rune of air, rune of fire, two mana diamonds and two redstone makes us a rune of energy. That's all we need for the Gaia agglomeration plate. We made some elven lapis, which is basically lapis in a mana pool, making mana lapis block and then this thing, mana lapis block, into the elven gate. That makes an elven lapis block. So, 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 let's make the Gaia agglomeration plate. Oh no, we need that. That's okay. We'll get that. We can also pick up the lapis because we will upgrade all of that. All right, Gaia agglomeration plate, that's amazing. And we need the Elven Lapis to replace the previous lapis, like a so. And then, yeah, that all goes uh, like a so, which will allow us to make Terra Steel Ingots at a much, much lower cost. Why is this not working? I see why, guys. It's Living Rock. It's probably not Living Rock. I guess it was Dream Rock, which is basically Living Rock traded with the Elves. And we get Dream Rock. Let's test this out. Let's test this out. Oh, 
come on why is it not working oh my god guys i'm was such a noob i didn't replace this block you're probably screaming shouting Serge, you noob it's not working is it working i think it is working i think it's taking so much mana oh no it did work nice right amazing fantastic all right do we fight the gaia boss i guess we do let's do that all right this should be fine oh my god let's do it guys oh i love this music let's see Oh, <laughs> that's it, guys. Uh, yeah, kind of of a fail fight, but we'll take it. All right, guys. So, next thing we need from Botania is Terrasteel ingots. Thirty-two of them. Now, I've set up a small system here. We've got an Emmy pattern provider with the Terrasteel ingot recipe going into an open crate, so the ingredients fall on the Gaia agglomeration plate. The Terrasteel ingot is made, and then this item collector filtered with the Terrasteel ingot will pick it up, and this will be imported back into the system. And of course, as always, I've set this to this mode, so it crafts one and then moves to the next. Let's actually test 10 of those. Uh, yeah, that didn't quite work. Right, I see, we can't do that. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea how to automate Terra still it. Do you have any ideas, guys? Let's craft 32, because that's what we need next. So, guys, we still don't get enough mana. <laughs> I don't know how, like, uh, I'm, I, I dislike Botania, guys. We've got 20. And we need 12 more. I'll just keep keep on coming back, make one, fly away, come back when there's mana. In the meantime, let's keep on moving, guys. Next thing we need, huh, precision mechanisms. I think we can actually make these. Let's see the process. This should be taking place right here. Wait, what, what happened? What happened? We've got eight. What the hell? I thought I fixed it. It's definitely not fixed. Why is there a golden plate? I thought I filtered you. Hmm. Deny list. Yes. Allow list. Deny list. I want to deny those. I don't get it, guys. This is so weird. It's like it doesn't care about one. Anyways. They are being made, I think. Yeah. Not a perfect setup, I guess. How many did we make? 29. Oh, and just three left. Well, what do we need for those three? Mm-hmm. We need some cockwheels. And some of those. Right. And then, what else is that? What is that? Ah, iron nugget. Nugget. Mm, thank you so much. Right, let's place those here. Where do I get an underside alloy? Right, is this finished? No. Still need one. Right, so, golden plate. I think it's done. Yeah, nice. Here's the two. Why is it still, like, why does it want, oh, because we didn't craft them all. Alright guys, I don't know what's up, and I don't know why this is not working. But we got the 32 precision mechanism. Let's hand them in. Nice. Gargantum flux storage. Let's actually make that. We just need one. It seems that we can. Two minutes. Damn. Well, oh my god. You mean you're smelling obsidian? What are you doing with the powdered obsidian? I don't even remember. Right. Anyways. Anyways. What's next? What's next? 256 charge there to squirts. Well, let's make that. We definitely have a charger. Oh, right here. Why can I not open it? I cannot open it. That's okay. Let's pick this up. And get a pattern provider. And let's set this up. I guess right here works for now. Yeah. Per section, per section. Blocking mode. Alright. 256. Let's do it. Okay. Can you pick it up as well, please? You can't. Right, well, 
let's make an import bus. That's that's how we're gonna do it. Let's, one should be enough. Can we access it from here? Yes, we can. Like so. And let's filter that. Perfection. Perfection. And that should be going until we get 256 of those. Right, guys, next thing we need is a cooking pot. Nice. And I would also like to get a stove. Yes, a stove. Can we get enough of those? Yes, we can. Amazing, fantastic. Campfire and a stove. Perfect. Right, I, I think we can place it here in the corner. Yeah, that is a perfect spot. Right, then we need some ratatouille. Ratatouille! Which will need a tomato, an onion, beetroot, and another vegetable. Now, do we have any onions? Onions? We don't have any onions. Jesus. Can we get that from the farmer guy? Let's see. Not the farmer guy. This guy. Onion? Yeah, wild onion. I was sure we had some. Let's check. All supplies. We, well, we have one. <laughs> Right, and yeah, I'll need some tomatoes. Is that all we need? Tomatoes, let's grab some cabbage, some rice. Yeah, we'll get back to this, I guess. Potatoes, carrots, all right, and seeds. All right, and we can use this amazing hoe, which has natural blessing five. Hoes may be used to bone meal crops, and it works like a charm. And I think I got it from a toolsmith, yes. So let's get some of those, some onions, some tomatoes, I guess, which I cannot place. Right, because we need tomato seeds anyways, and cabbages we can't place. Right, well, this should be enough. Right, we'll need a bowl, a tomato, two beetroots, and an onion. Nice, and that makes ratatouille. Ratatouille, right. Let's submit that. We also got the gargan gargan tool thing my bob. Uh, it's so hard to pronounce, guys. Alright, and then the stuff hoglin. Crimson roots and warped roots. How do we get those? I guess we need to fly into the villages. Let me do that. Right, I think that's something we need. Noise. Can I just have them by hand? Oh, okay. Well, let's get a few. Alright, and then the next thing we need to find. Oh, the chest I haven't opened. Wait, what? What just happened? Nice. I don't need any of that, but that's actually nice. All right, let's keep on moving. I need to find another village, which is a warp forest village, right? What is it? Yeah, warp sky village. Let's do that. I guess I think I found one. It took a while. But yeah, that's what I needed. Nice. Let's get... A few of those, of the mushrooms and the the roots, yeah, the white roots, noise. I guess I think that's all we needed. Uh, next thing is hoglings, 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 hoglings. Now, how do we get hoglings? I have no idea, but I definitely have five hoglings spawn eggs from villagers. Oh no, one of them down and one of them is running away. Let's kill this guy. I am. Oh no! I don't want this cork. I don't want this cork. What do I get? Oh, that's one thing I need. Alright, let's feed them some crimson fungus. Crimson fungus? No? You don't like that? I guess we need to kill one more to get one more of those. Hoglin loin, please. Oh no! Why are you being set on fire? It's not what I wanted. Oh, that's why. Right, do we kill this guy? I guess we don't. Right, and then we need loin and, 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 to ham. Maybe by killing them with a knife? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. I don't think that's what was it absorbed by the hopper? Oh, nice. Yes, we did get the ham we needed. Perfection. Perfection. And then, then we need to craft the raw stuffed. Right. Some never salad first. Raw stuffed hoglin. And we need two never salads. One. 
to perfection and then stick that in to inside the cooking pot amazing right, i think the hoglin is ready the stuff hoglin is ready noise noise let's hand that in then we got all these charged set the squirts amazing what we get an antidote vessel greatly reduces the duration of negative effects that's actually very nice very nice indeed we can't place it because it's on the belt what are we wearing on the belt oh an antidote vessel wait what me is confused all right well we got one already that's why right let's throw it away what is next 64 signal gets. that should be very easy oh and we've got them that's amazing next 128 advanced processor sirs processors right we need a recipe for that but before that that's that that that's easy guys that's very easy we need a recipe for the advanced processor just like a so and a recipe for the raw advanced processor right i guess we need a recipe for the processor binding as well I want a recipe for that. Not the pink slime though, not the pink slime. No, I want the green slime. Oh, come on, of course, it's not called green slime, it's called slime. Like it so, like, right, and this goes here. Now advanced, we should be able to craft 128. Amazing and freaking tastic. Now what is next? 32 luminous crystal shards. I guess we need a salvaging table. How do we make that? Jesus. What is that? Gem dust. How do we get gem dust? Mm, okay. Any apotheosis uh, item and just drop an anvil. Oh, you mean gems. I see. Right. Well, we got two gem dust. But let's just try it out. I'd like to try it out. And an anvil. And in the processors as well. So if we drop this here. And drop an anvil. Okay, we got one dust. That's not too much. But anyway, salvaging table. Can we make it? No, we can't. We need another axe. And we need a bucket of lava. Yes, we need a bucket. We got a bucket. If we have a bucket and we've got lava. You just click on it and you get a bucket of lava. Which is amazing. Salvaging table. Where is that quest actually? Right here. Ooh. And we do get some gem. Nice, I have no idea if that's good. I'm a noob at apotheosis. I'm a noob at every quest, guys. Let's receive all the rewards. This, I mean the processors. 32 luminous crystal shards. I'm guessing if I go like this and get a pipe, will that actually work? Let's test this out. Nope, I don't think it does. So, can we salvage all of this? Is this all salvageable? Let's test this out. It does seem like it is. Very nice. No? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, okay, 8 luminous shard. No? No? Yes? Yes? No? 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 Alright. 8 more. Nice. Alright guys, so what I'm doing, I'm getting a bunch of spoil bags. And just shift right click them into a chest. And then, I pick out all of those equipments. That could have an enchant, an apotheosis enchant. Place them in the salvaging table. Right. I didn't press that. And then what I do is connect the pipe back and everything is transferred into the trash can. Right. I'll repeat the process until I have uh, some of those luminous crystal shards. Right, guys. I got the crystals. We got 46. We just need 32. Very nice. Now, advanced machine frame. We can do that. That should be easy. And then 64 blaze cake. Okay. Oh, we got 16. That's amazing. Right. Blaze cake base. Let's get on to that. And guys, I just completed my 32nd terrestrial ingot, which is for this quest. Right here. We've got the 64 swift alloy ingots. We've got the 32 terrestrial ingots. We just need 128 dash ingots. Blaze cakes. How do we get blaze cakes? Right. First thing first. Let's place a nether brick, pedestal on top, material generator, and that should generate netherrack. Now, because we have a few cakes, we don't need a stack, but we'll get a stack. Then, eggs. I actually left some chickens here quite a while ago, and we should have... Yeah, we do have... All right, let's get four stacks, so we get 64... Oh, we got netherrack here. Nice. Then we don't need uh, to wait, which is fantastic. All right, let's break that. Deposit all that back. We've got the sugar, the netherrack, and the eggs. Now we need to crush the Neverak. How do we crush the Neverak? 
We'll need two crushing wheels. Gotta go like a so, I guess. Let's get some motors. High speed. Uh, we'll change the speed if needed. Perfection. Perfection. Chest. 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 Go like a so. And then drop the Neverack. Is it being crushed? Of course it's not being crushed. Maybe we should switch this up. Alright, let's switch this up. How about... Alright. Will this work? Yes, it does work. Nice. Very nice. Now we should get Crushed Neverack. Amazing. And if we place that again, we should get Cinder Flower. And we might get more than we need. Because there's a chance we get a second one. Yep, we already have more than the stack. And that's done. Then we'll need a Burning Blazer, a Basin, and a Mechanical Mixer. We'll need one of those. One of the motors. Is this working? It's not. Hold on a second. How do we get place oh amazing why did i think we needed a mixer i guess i was wrong i'm sorry guys hold on mechanical press right we got everything amazing fun freaking tastic all right guys next thing we need we need a basin in which we just throw in an egg some sugar and cinder flour and then 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 we need to provide this thing with rotation speed or rotation force whatever you want to call it boom like so then i want to take out the result and filter that perfect and then just throw in the remaining eggs cinder flour and sugar that is absolutely fun freaking fantastic <laughs> nice and then guys then we'll need a copper casing like a so and a dried kelp which is basically smelted kelp to get a spot then we'll need one of those a deep port place it right here oh that's nice all right but we don't need that right now we need a spoot and a lava basic fluid lava tank which we have can we go like a so i don't think we can so we're just gonna place some pipes and provide the spoot with lava and we just drop the cakes here oops the base cake here and blaze cake is being made now i didn't want to automate this process because we won't need it soon because we're gonna get a creative blaze cake All right and we got a stack of blaze cakes let's hand this in and amazing we got a creative blaze cake an infinity wand flying module and infinity backpack All right let's uh, stick all that back into the system and just for fun because we don't have much lava generation going what i'm gonna do is create a small setup like this with a blaze burner fit it with a creative blaze cake which should keep it yeah <laughs> amazing basically it will burn forever and i want an import bus an export bus all right export bus here import bus this way i want to import lava like a so and on the export bus i want to place cobblestone all right, let's let's provide these guys with upgrades. All right, this should empty. No, oh, no. Hello, sixteen cobblestone lava. Why is this not working? Hmm. Do I need to click on it again? Oh yes, I did need to click on it again. So you click twice. The first one is heated. The second one is super heated. Nice. And we'll have some lava going. Noise. All right, guys. Next thing, we actually got the power and we got the ether gas, which is amazing. And now we need dash ingots. We need uh, dash or row dash. So I guess we need to go to the moon. Oh guys, I guess it's time to go to the moon. First, we need a NASA workbench. I actually placed the recipes into my system, so we should be able to craft everything easily. Nice. Let's place it here. Yes, that's perfect. Oh my god. Does it need power? I have no idea. Next thing is... Basically these materials, and that would be four rocket fins. One steel engine, two steel tanks, and one of those rocket nose cone. Also six steel blocks. And this goes like a so. Nice! <laughs> oh my god! That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing noise. Then we need a launching pad. 
but I actually will need two. One to go and one to get back. Perfect. And I think we do get the quest. No. Hello. Hello. All right. It needs everything. But anyways, let's place the launch pod right here and the rocket right here. Nice. Then this thing needs fuel and we need oxygen. Firstly, we need the space suit. Then we need oxygen loader. Perfection. And I guess we place this here. And what the hell do we do? Water, oxygen. Okay. Hopefully we can use a sink. Mm-hmm. That's nice. All right. And we get oxygen. Now, how do we get it inside? Oh. So the suit has oxygen. I mean... So the suit has some oxygen capacity. All right, maybe we should get some tanks as well, oxygen tanks. Let's do that. Let's get five. And we'll fill them up as well. All right, the next thing we need is a fuel loader. Very nice. Um, let's place it here. And then we need a fuel refinery. Of course, we don't have any buckets or furnaces. That's so easy to make. Fuel refinery. Let's uh, stick it here. Perfection. So, we need to provide oil. And to get oil, we need a fluid laser base. But I think it needs to be in an ocean biome. Oh my god, all the entities, guys. Right, well, let's test it out. Nope, we're not. So, I'll have to find an ocean biome. All right, this should be close. Wait, what? Oh, oh, shit. That's what we need. Right. Angelic block or angel block noise. Right, and we are getting oil, which is amazing. We're going to place an ender tank on top and tell this guy to output... On top, perfect. Well, let's get back home. Ooh, home is looking cool. Home is looking cool. Right, right here. And let's place the. Oh my god, that pack is too fast. The ender time right like so. Push. Is it being pushed? It's being pushed. It needs energy. Energy provided. Amazing. And we've got you. Let's see. Yes, there you go. Let's upgrade that. And that's amazing. Got fuel for days. Let's see. Does our rocket. Oh my god. How do we see how much fuel it has? Oh, shift right click. Let's get some oxygen tanks. And can we make any fuel canisters? Astra fuel. No, I guess we can't. And of course, don't forget the launch pod. Because that would be a disaster. Now next, pre-flight check. It costs three buckets of fuel to launch a rocket. Make sure you have enough for a return trip. I think, wait, what? Wait, how do you, how do you like, uh, right, of course, buckets. Buckets. So let's get three buckets. And I guess we're ready to go, guys. Uh, how do I fly? W. Oh. Oh. No noises, no nothing. Where's the, like, the takeout? Three, two, one. We've got a lift off, guys. Oh, my God. We're going up. Hello? Can you see me? Whee. Oh, wow. Solar system. Okay. Earth, the sky's end. Uh, the sky's end. I guess. Wait, we're gonna fight the dragon. Fuse now. It's. I didn't even bring a bow. How am I supposed to win? God, what are the Endermen doing? Why are they doing that? All right. So pick this up. Can I access things? No, I cannot. That is uh, perfect. Just. 
Perfect. I guess we're gonna go like this. Oh no. I guess we can do it. I guess we can do it, guys. Oh, that did it. Come on, dragon. It's the easiest fight of my entire Minecraft career. Oh, come on. Just die. Just die. You have no other option, guy. Come on. Hmm. Alright, what is that? Mini dragons or something? What is that? Baby ender dragon. Nice. What is that? Usually ends. Alright, well. I think I'm gonna go home. And I'm gonna try this again. Alright, that's how you do it. Earth? Moon? Let's go to the moon. Let's get out. Let's pick this up. And let's see. Oh, hello. Oh my god. What did you give me? Ice shards. Wait, what is that? Oh my god. Noise. Right. I want some dash ore. How do I get that? Is that dash ore? Oh my god. No, that's false. Man. What is that? Moon cheese ore. I'll get, I'll take that. Alright, I think that's the short. Noise. Huh, I got just one. Does fortune do anything? Maybe. Alright guys, I think we have enough. We got like, five stacks. But, there's something I see. On the map. And I just want to check it out. Oh, hello there. Are those villagers, or are those hostile mobs? Let's find out. They're actually... Wait, I can pick them up? Hold on, we need to try this. Can I pick them? Oh, wait. Oh, no. I guess I think it's time to go home. Launchpad. Rocket. No. Shift right click. Maybe like that. Oh, has fuel. That's nice. Well, let's go back home then. All right, all right, guys. And then I guess we need we need to smelt all the dash work. And we got two stacks of dash ingots, which gives us the everlasting mana pool. And that's absolutely amazing, guys. That's absolutely amazing because we can just put it here. Let's sit right here, and that's infinite mana. Oh my god, that's amazing. Right guys, but I think that's going to be it for today's episode and I really hope you come back for the next one. Anyways guys, it's been a pleasure as always. If you did like the episode, please consider leaving a like and hitting that subscribe button. That would be very much appreciated. Anyways guys, bye!